Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about imports in CSS. Now, imports allow you to take CSS code from other files and import them into the file that you're currently using. So I could specify a bunch of CSS code in a bunch of external files and then just import all those files into my current CSS file and they'll show up on my website. Over here in my file explorer, I have three CSS files. I have this style.css file this paragraph.css file, and this header.css file. And this style CSS file is just the CSS file that I'm using for my HTML. And then I have this paragraph file, and this is just specifying a color for the paragraphs on the site. And then I have this header file, and this is specifying the color for the headers. So these are very basic files, but I'm gonna show you how you can import these files into this style.css file. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna type in at import and then inside of quotation marks, I wanna type in the name of the file I wanna import. So this is gonna be like the relative path to the file. So I can just type header.css and now CSS will go out and it'll grab all the code from this header.css file and you can see that it shows up here and all the styling is being used. So the styling in this header.css file where it's making the headers green is being used now in this file. And I can do the same thing with paragraph. So I can say paragraph.css, and now the paragraph text should change color because we're importing the paragraph styling from the paragraph.css file. And I can also override any of these attributes. So if I don't like something that I'm getting from like this header.css file, I can just override it here on my website. So I can override this h1, and now let's just make it red instead of being green. And so that will override the code that I currently imported. So whatever goes in here is sort of king. So you actually can import as many of these things as you want. And it's kind of a good design practice to break up your CSS files into multiple files. I mean, it's good for modularization and organization. But one thing you do need to be aware of is when you're using these import statements, um, on a web server. So if you have this CSS page hosted on a web server and it has these import statements inside of it, this is gonna cause an additional HTTP request to be run. So once you download the CSS file, you're then gonna have to go download this file and this file. So just because you're importing these doesn't mean that you're not still gonna need them. Like it, it's not magic. You're still gonna need these physical files this just makes it more convenient for you to include them. So if you're worried about like speed on your website, uh, you might wanna consider not using these imports. But then again, like if you only have a couple imports here or there, it's really not gonna make too much of a difference on the user's end. But if you have like hundreds of these imports and you think like, oh, I only have one HTML file, I'm just importing everything, you're actually gonna need to grab all of those HTML files from the web server. So it's gonna force a bunch of extra HTTP requests, which could potentially slow down uh, the load time on your website. So it's just something to think about. Don't let that shy you away from using imports. I mean, if you just have a couple here or there, like they can be really useful and they can really help you to organize your CSS really well. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.